Pittsburgh Steeler fans, welcome to another Friday night, Freaky Friday episode of the Homies Podcast. The Homie Pay not with us tonight, so we know some of you going to be disappointed, you know, because we know we know how much Pay is, is, is loved in here, even, even though he always hating on the Steelers. He in them streets. He out in the streets. Yeah, he's, he, he's at a wedding party or something, man. Birthday, I, I thought he said. Is it birthday? Birthday dinner, birthday dinner tonight. You could be right. I got a niece that's going to a a, a bachelorette party, so I'm just I'm just crossing wires in my old head because my head is old. And Tim, in my head, old the homie Tim Lyons is here filling in for pay. So we actually got two of the running through the jungle crew. Yeah. What's up, Tim? Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. What's up, homie nation? I ain't going to say Steeler nation. It's a homie nation. <laughs> and thank you for having me on the show. And, yes, Tate is old as dirt, so his mind gets kind of goofied up. <laughs> oh, That's funny, man. But hey, hey, man, I, can I ask you a question before you go on, Tate? Go ahead. Is Pay in the streets or is he for the streets? Which way is he? Pay is of the streets. <laughs> he's not in the streets. He's not for the streets. He's, he's of, the streets. of the streets. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good answer. Great Sweet answer. Sweet home, Chicago. Facts. Sweet home, Facts. Chicago. Mm -hmm. West Side. Yep. But yeah, man, you know, everybody that didn't know, Pay, Pay's grandmother is, is my aunt. Facts. So my dad was, I guess, are you still somebody's great uncle when you die? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my dad pays great uncle or when he was living, he certainly was. Now it's up in the air. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my dad's still my dad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Facts. Facts. That's my true. Pops That's my true. mom's. Yep. Facts. Okay. And Tim, man, you got to recognize Steeler Nation, man. You, you, you uh -oh. got to be, you gotta be gracious with this invite, bro. Claude said three Bengals fans hosting the show tonight. <laughs> Uh, you know, what do you mean already? What do you mean already, uh, man? Uh, God, leave me. Hey, on, hey on, now. He, he cool, Big G, because I'm sure, I don't know, Tim might have saw it the other night. We were talking about, on Wednesday, talking about starter jackets, and I said, in 1990, I had a bingo starter jacket just because it was different. I did hear you say that. I was yeah. like, oh, Tate, Tate's a bingo man. Well, that's why Claude's saying three bingos, man. Mm -hmm. You look good in stripes, man. You would. Yeah. The orange would look nice on you, bro. The orange did like that. Why do you think I got it? You're so fresh and so clean. Uh, look at Big G's face. Like he ate Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, Big some G. Sour Skittles, some Sour Skittles. But you know, I I, I can't be so critical because I was a Phillies fan, but I had an Indians outfit because it was different. So I, I can't be hypocritical. I can't be hypocritical. That's what That's it was cool. about in, in 89, 90. Like people was wearing Green Bay Packer starter jackets. Uh, Red, I, Red I had starter jackets. I had an I, Eagles. Uh, I had an Eagles hat because I liked the way it looked. Brandon, Man. Brandon, what, Brandon, what hat did I always wear? I had a blue LA Dodgers fitted hat yep. on all the damn time, and I think Brandon probably stole it from me. It's somewhere in, in, in his mom's house somewhere. Nah, I wasn't wearing <laughs> the Dodgers stuff. Hey, y'all, 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 y'all familiar with with Debo from from the movie Friday? Yeah. Yep. Had a friend. It's my, it's my part. Since right, since passed away five years ago. Big G, I'm talking about Beast. Mm. He's let Beast borrow stuff. And I let him borrow a Nike, a Nike sweatsuit. One, you know, one of the warm-up suits. Uh -huh. Never got that. One, right? it, never got it back. But I said, because we shared a locker, I said, Beast, man, can I get my uh Nike suit back? He said, Nah, Tate, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's beast for sure. That was right. beast for sure. That's beast for sure. You giving it up, you ain't never getting it back. <laughs> Well, Big yeah, man, when we was backstage, we was talking to the talk guy a little bit rated, rated R. Well, we started free Friday off backstage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we but, did. You know, we did. But Big G, the one that really took it there, though. I hey, stayed there. I stayed Jared there. Devil, hey, Jared Devil said, what bike? <laughs> <laughs> Big facts. What, what he said? <laughs> talking about Debo. He said, Debo what Debo. bike? Yeah, what Debo. bike? You right, Joe Devil. That's how it was with Beach. But, uh, he ain't here. Shout out to everybody in the live chat. We'll get to you in just a second. I just want to say, Big, I don't know what it is. Big G say when the last of his of his daughters leave home, mm -hmm. he, he get he getting a, a special special something for his basement. Special. 
<laughs> That's all I can say because I got to keep it G-rated, special. <laughs> but but I can say this: you might find it in a club somewhere. Yellow card, two minutes. <laughs> like a, a club called Magic City. Hey, <laughs> yeah, somebody hey, break the somewhere, somewhere in there. Hey, if you if you if you get a if you get an emergency call at a fire station, could you find it in there? Yep. Hey, Magic City, you just go there for the lemon pepper chicken wings. Loving them. Loving them lemon peppers. <laughs> Love them. <laughs> Trying to tell hey, you. That's what, uh, that's what old Lou Williams did, huh? Oh, sweet Big Lou. Facts. Sweet Lou. Yep. Big facts. But, but, yeah, man. So, it's Friday. We got some football to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, what we going to do? A, it was a tie game at halftime when we started this show, and it's a 12-point game right now. She's I got a dog, dog, bro. She's a dog. South Carolina. Yeah. I didn't, I, I'm looking here, so I had to look so up there. So do South I. Carolina. Up by 12. They're covering already. She, they they got about two, three WNBA players on there, but they main girl, she's a dog. She's a dog, man. She's different. What's, what's, what's her name? Cardoza? Yeah. 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 She's a who, dog, who? man. Caitlin Clark didn't the WNBA draft. Is Cardoza or – or 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 uh, help me, you know LSU. Angel Reese. Angel she, may Reese. Not, she may not come out. No, no she, she already she declared. Did she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she declared. Mm-hmm. Cardoso go second. If she come out, she'll go second. And then Angel Reese will go third. But if Juju come out, Juju might go second. I started. If she just popped up on my, I don't do much on, on TikTok, but I must have looked looked her up on Google. Uh, uh, she is from Baltimore. Now all her TikToks pop up on my thing. Man, she bad, man. Juju beat a beast in a lot of ways. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about that bad, G. Juju is a beast on the court. I'm talking about Angel Reese is bad, like Beyonce bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's beautiful. <laughs> man, yeah, she's man. on she's gonna be on the cover of Vogue magazine. Yeah, big facts. You know, it's gonna be in the it's gonna be in the um not an episode, it's a magazine. It's a um mm-hmm. what is it when it's a magazine, be dirt? What it's not an episode, a show is an episode, a magazine is a what. Addition issue. issue issue issue. That's where I'm looking for, man. I needed that bath education, baby. Thank you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, she's gonna be have her own photo shoot in uh the next Vogue that's coming out, man. Uh <laughs> Ronald Blake Val, 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 Val Ford said edition too, but it's yeah, I would I would say an edition, but it, it is an edition if it's like a paper, but mm-hmm. a magazine is an issue. Mm-hmm. You see, uh, Ronald Blake said the Bengals are in the house. Paul Brown's children. <laughs> Down there at the bottom. <laughs> it's two of them. It's two of them jokers. Them is his kids. Yeah. We got Dresden up here. We got Afton up here. We got Tim jumped right off the chat into the show. Mm-hmm. Claude. We got a lot of we got a lot of the, the crew. Mm-hmm. AJC, Michael Martin, Shit. Reginald Shit. Rivers. AJ Kathy Ford's here. Michael Where's Martin that? in there. Michael, what's up, Michael? Uh, Michael Martin, what's happening, bro? John Caldwell, Jim yeah. Dillon. Yeah. yeah. Martin. Yeah. Get AJ, them AJ, rhythms AJ, up. AJ, Thomas AJ. Riley. T. Riley. We call him T. Riley nowadays. T. Riley. Yeah. Like at the crib. Like he from the bean. <laughs> we got a, we got, I don't even know dude's first name at the crib. I, I know his last name, Riley. His first name start with T. They call him T. Riley. Upper teeth just jumped in too. What's up, bro? I said I lost my lower teeth at a strip club. Big facts. Hey, <laughs> that's, that's that's not a bad place to lose. Yep. <laughs> yep. Man, I wish I, I I wish I could tell y'all some of the exploits me and Big G been through back in the day. Can't tell it. <laughs> Never happened. You gotta take that to the castle, hey, bro. But 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 y'all do know the little homie Jeff went to school with y'all. Jeff Osborne. Uh-huh. We used Crazy. to work out there at Sam Club. You know they had that big mansion out there. Mm-hmm. We used to go out there and hang out after work and after hanging out and stuff. And one night we was over there with some girls. <laughs> big G went to sleep and just water bed. <laughs> Jeff came, <laughs> woke me up in the morning. He said, "Tate, Tate, what's he doing in my water bed?" <laughs> with with no t shirt on, just some boxers and some socks. <laughs> <laughs> was in that bag, baby. Oh, that was so funny, man! Yeah, Shout out yeah. to the homie Jeff, the the yeah. my, my 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 favorite bath graduate. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that that's between you two and Jeff. Jeff's the man. 
<laughs> but, but nah, man. So we're gonna take a quick break and get this thing started, man. We uh are not going anywhere if you're watching on YouTube. Uh Claude said he probably got some. Put him in, bro. Put him in, bro. Like we're gonna have the Diddy party. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. See, Tim Hill. <laughs> No doubt. Hey, man, we're going to take a quick break. If you're on YouTube, stay with us. We're not going nowhere if you listen to audio. We're going to hear a few words from our partners, pay some bills, and we'll be right back after this. Mm-hmm. And we're back on the Homies Podcast with the with the homies B Dirt, Big G, and the guest homie from the Running Through the Jungle, B Dirt's right hand man, Tim Lyons. What's up, fellas? What up, guys? What up? What up? Let's get let's get to this ball, man. Right? Yep. Let's so go. Big G. Mm-hmm. Per usual, we need to talk about the Steelers first. Yep. Let's go. Right. So first, get your algorithms up, man. We got. About 93 people in here and only 30, 34 likes. Right, man. Come on, keep keep talking. Ask me the question. I got the sign, man. Y'all tripping, man. <laughs> y'all tripping. That's all I'm gonna say. Y'all tripping, hey, man. Y'all know the hey, drill. Tate, I want you when we start talking about the Bengals after the Steelers talk, Reginald Rivers said, Hey, B Dirt is Higgins going to Buffalo. Remind me to address that. Hey, let's let's let us let us let us go ahead and just jump to the Bengals now so we can finish strong all Steelers. So mm. Well, I'm 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 gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you and Tim take it away and talk about what y'all gotta talk about. And you have you have 10 minutes of our valuable stealer time right now. Uh, I'll tell you this. Um Higgins may end up in Buffalo some point in time, but it ain't gonna be because we trade him there. It's yeah. gonna be because he walks as a free agent. Higgins may end up in Buffalo. Fine. Oh, who's the replay? <laughs> I don't care who it is, they're getting the fine. Where's my sign? Keep going, keep talking, bro. Get him. But yeah, I mean, there's no way we're. I was surprised that Buffalo traded Stefan Diggs to Houston Texans. That's a team that's up and coming in the AFC playoff picture. I'm not trading. I'm not trading anybody to the Texans, the Bills, the Steelers, the Ravens, the Browns, uh, the Chiefs. Just say the whole AFC. Yeah, you got to be dog turd in the AFC. For me to trade yeah. you somebody, would you would you would, would you send them to the Patriots? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So 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 now I understand the bar you're at. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know that was one thing that big big G and I discussed uh, a couple of days ago. I said, you know, there ain't no way in hell that Cincinnati Bengals are going to send them to an Dolphins. AFC. You know, th- there's no way they're going to an AFC North team. They're mm-hmm. not going to an AFC contender team. You know, to have mm-hmm. a possible playoffs. There's no way he's going to either if if we were to trade him, he's either going to go to an NFC team or a basement AFC team. That mm-hmm. you know that's the only way it's ever going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know I don't care if they're sending. You know I, I know I've seen on online and people are like, oh well, what if they gave us a first? Um, I think it was like a first, a fourth, and a fifth for T Higgins to go to Buffalo. Hell no, I wouldn't say I would not send him there at all. Period. Big facts. Oh, boy. But what I told y'all about Stefan, though, I told y'all he was getting traded to Houston. Be there, yeah, remember I right. told you? I yeah, told y'all. Right. I told yeah. y'all he was. I got a little um, Michael little Martin dirty. said, are the Bengals drafting a tackle in round one to protect Joe Brittle? They just um, got two tackles. Yeah, I I mean, we're in a situation. We 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 did sign a right tackle, but we signed him for one year. Mm-hmm. Yep. And he's over 30. So mm-hmm. we're taking a tackle. Um, but we put ourselves in a situation now where you know, you can get a good right tackle at that 49th spot or or later on down the road. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like we could get one in the second round and still be okay. Uh, if that's the best available, though, is the right tackle, we're going to take it. It's going to be whoever that best available, I think, is. I think we put ourselves in a pretty decent situation to do that. So you would take a tackle even if a guy like Blake Bowers or Quinion Mitchell slid down the board? No. That would not mean hit they were the best available. Okay, okay. I said best available. If okay. Brock Bowers is there at 18, I trip over yourselves trying to get to the podium. 
<laughs> full you know sprint. I mean? Full sprint. Yeah. Don't slow play it. You get out there and hand the card over immediately. Mm. Yeah. I don't yeah. expect him to be there, but if he is and we don't take him, I, I, I'll, I'll lose my mind. And the thing is, as I always said, was if Brock Bowers there at 18, I'm running like a man on fire to that. <laughs> you know, I, I'm handing that card in what, and getting him. What about what about a dude like maybe Jackson Powers Johnson, who's a legit Pro Bowl center probably within a year or two in the league? You all wouldn't run up there and grab him? Um I wouldn't be mad about grabbing them. Mm-hmm. Um, we do need the heir apparent to Karras uh, mm-hmm. eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I feel like, you know, we, we took a guy last year in the first round of Miles Murphy who was a little bit of a project and wasn't mm-hmm. going to start his first year. Yeah, yeah. I don't think if they take a center this year, they're going to start him immediately over Karras. Mm-hmm. So, again, we're in a situation, we've talked about this in the past, where there's so much money going out right now mm-hmm. um, to the, the the big three that's going to be going out over these next several years. We don't mm-hmm. have the ability to not hit impact players in rounds one, two, and three. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. we've got four picks in the first 100 uh, – uh, four draft choices in the first 100 picks. Mm-hmm. And I think three of them have to be somewhat impactful this year. Mm-hmm. Even if in a platoon basis, you just can't you can't have that much money tied up in three players and not be able to hit on some of your draft picks. You got and we've the problem is is we've had great history in hitting and draft picks mm-hmm. on wide receivers more than anything. Mm-hmm. Well, that's who we're getting ready to pay. You know what I mean? Like, so we're paying guys that we're good at drafting. So we got to get better at drafting these big uglies, man. Got to get mm. better at drafting big ugly. Definitely. Mm. Mm. I think the whole AFC North. Yeah. Go ahead, Tate. I'm sorry. I just want to shout out AFL 67. He was at his mom's 100th birthday party last week, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Happy birthday to your mother, man. Wow. Yeah. Years. Yeah, big century, bro. Killing that, him. That's big, man. Yeah, big, huge. Yeah. Huge and big. Congratulations, man. Tell her that, that the homies crew on Steel Curtain Network say happy birthday. Miss mm-hmm. Miss AFL sixty seven, Mama AFL sixty seven. Yep. And so we we appreciate you for being here now, but understand why you missed last week, man. Mm-hmm. But what y'all should have did, man, was put it up on the big screen at the party. Yeah. Ooh, Maybe. I like that. Everybody would watch. You could have shared it with everybody there. Got all new subscribers for us. Where you at? Maybe maybe at the hundred birthday party. You can think. Uh, of I seen him. A guy named Payday. Says uh, Big G sweating being ar- uh, surrounded by all these Bengals bros. You stay in them <laughs> streets, Payday. <laughs> you stay in them streets. Well, you well, stay in well, them well, streets. What, what we say about pay, 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 pay of the streets. Of the streets. Yeah. Of the streets. <laughs> we might have brown bag pay right now. Mm-hmm. Friday, Friday, eight thirty. Yeah, we might have brown a, bag pay. Make a at a party. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At a party. Hey, I, I see. I see the homie S Dresden in here, man. Hey, S Dresden. Thanks for being here with us, man. Uh, I had to had to maybe reconsider, man, your take on uh, Nate Wiggins, man. Seems like it's a lot of smoke out here in these streets about Nate Wiggins and the Steelers. But we'll get to that after after running through the jungle is done. Go ahead, B32. Y'all got anything else? Oh, I got a question. I got a question. Yeah. Priorities. What is your priorities? Like, if like who you got to get, or if you got a guy that there's no doubt this is the guy we want, you're gonna circle the wagons. Are we even willing to trade up from a priority standpoint? Well, Who's since our we well, this, 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 this is the part y'all get into the top 30 videos y'all that have already, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I I think Tim and I are both in the same boat when it comes to our top 30 visits. And it's probably yeah. somebody we can get in the second round, to be honest with you, is uh, Tavondre Sweat. Ooh. Yeah. You know, we, 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 we were 31st in the run in run defense last year, man. We've yeah. got to do something to get less offensive linemen to our second level. Mm-hmm. That was killing us last year. 
Mm-hmm. So we need somebody. Uh, we need somebody up front that can go cross face and take two block blockers. We need two a big technique boy. DT. Yep. Two yep. technique DT. Yep. So yep. so so y'all would trade up in a second to get him. I don't know. We're going to need to be honest with you. Um, but there's some other guys that we're interested in, and 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 maybe in that first second. But I, the one guy, if you just say you want, if there's one guy in the draft that you want. Mm-hmm. It's Bowers. No doubt. It's Brock Bowers. Ooh. It's no doubt. You know, we've missed that. Like, like we've we've been saying this the whole last big, year. Big G, you gotta think about it. Tyler Boyd's gone. Yeah. Facts. Bowers can go over and play a slot. Gasecki can go over and play a slot. Yeah. One of them can come in line. Like it gives us more flexibility. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Facts. Okay. What'd you say, Tim? You know, that's one thing that we've been discussing. You know, we've we missed that bus, that tight end bus last year. Mm-hmm. Look, you know, that that whole that whole class of tight ends, you know, there there are a lot of amazing tight ends in that class, and the Bengals missed it. We didn't know. even wave at it. No, we didn't. We 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 watched we, it we, go by. Yeah, we, we drafted a, a defensive end instead. You know, and this year, if if Brock Bowers is there, we got to go after Brock Bowers. We got to go. You know, we need that tight end position. But mm-hmm. you know, but the big uglies is important to us too, and the defensive. Uh, tackles is important, like we discussed earlier. You know, we both agree with Mims because, or with Sweat. I'm sorry, with Sweat because Sweat would pair up great next to Sheldon Rankins or BJ Hill. You know, mm-hmm. it, it, he would just be that big old hoss in the middle of that defensive line. You know, and you know, as we know, the nose tackle position really doesn't exist in 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 today's NFL defense. Correct. Correct. You know, so you know, for for Sweat to come in. He's such a big dude, and I think he would help that 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 run that run defense big time. You know, like Brandon said earlier in our show that you know it would allow those linebackers and everything to step up and and get those those running backs. Mm-hmm. You know, instead of us being thirty first in the league or in the run game, man, that was awful. That was just got awful. Mm-hmm. You know, but also though is is. I think if we added Brock Bowers to it, if we got the chance, if we get the chance to to add Brock Bowers to our offense, it's going to be trouble for a lot of a lot of teams this year. So it's very dynamic. So if, yeah. if y'all are at eighteen, if he drops past what would what would you, where would you go to go get him? If y'all was the GMs, oh, I don't think we can go up more than fifteen, maybe fifteen. Okay. I don't okay, think I, we can. It. I just don't think we can. Hmm? I don't think we'll give up the draft capital. And Again, you know, you're I, in a weird spot. You got to have this draft picks. So you got to have cheap players when you're paying all those other guys. And, and as we all know, this draft, this draft class is a hell of a draft class. You know, mm-hmm. we can't. And I I just don't think that any team can really afford to give away draft capital just to move up. You know, four or five spots. Is it is it work? You know, we're not looking for a quarterback. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. we're not looking for a number one wide receiver. Mm-hmm. We already have that. You know, mm-hmm. we, we need somebody that's going to fit in, into our either, either I said like a, our tight end position, or our tackle, or offensive line, or defensive tackle. I don't think he's going to get to us because you. I think you look at New Orleans, Indianapolis, and Seattle. Pick fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Yeah, that's a long way. I, I don't think he can get through those three. Yeah, that's a long way to go. All right, I got you. Tay Boy Fresh says that I ain't got no more questions. You got any, bro? But somebody wasn't on our top 30 that you know I want is still Chris Jenkins, but I digress. Yeah. yeah. I got – well, what we're going to do real quick is take one more break. If you're watching on YouTube, don't go nowhere because we're not going anywhere. But if you listen on audio, again, we got to keep paying these bills. And hear a few messages from our partner, and we'll be right back after this. And we're back on the Pump Your Breaks podcast. I'm the homie Tate here with the homie Tim Lyons. The homie B Dirt, B Dirty. What he up? got the name because his car always be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true either. 
That but it is, it is it is what Moose what Moose said, but it's just not a true statement. Uh, Peter said that's big cap. My, my car stays clean. Big cap. Why why would you say your car always be dirty? Because uh, I was moving. And, and to be more specific, I was moving him. Mm. 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 Hello? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Whoever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're on, we're on show. Yep. Val Four said dirty with a question mark. I guess I don't know, B dirt. How dirty can you get? Or is your car still dirty? No. No, I dude, I wash my car probably four or five times a week. You know, the last time I washed the car was probably I take it through the car wash, I wipe it down. I get the tires and like, the rims. It was probably like before I moved. I never watched the cars I lived out here. I lived out here in the D.C. area since 2005. Just run I it used, through, bro. Run it through. Run yeah, it through. Oh, yeah, I, got, I got the unlimited membership where I can drive through. Soon as I leave my home. Same thing, but I drive it through, and then I wipe it all down. and They do that there. They mind do that. See? Mm -hmm. See? There's Jess Lovich. What is that? She Who said, is that? She said, is, that your, is that your boo? Is that your boo? That'd be her. Say hi, boo. <laughs> hey, hi, boo. boo. Okay. <laughs> we got to we 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 got to kind of kind of take away some of your masculinity right there. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> That's a good thing. It all, it's all hers anyway. Doesn't matter. I don't <laughs> care what you think. <laughs> Big G the other day he admitted, to, "Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna pillow talk." <laughs> Fine. Oh, fine. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Got him. Got him. Drop drop it in the jar. Damn. <laughs> Let me get this. Go ahead, man. I got to put that's, this that's, on. That's, so. that's the last comment that B Dirt is about the Bengals. Go ahead, B Dirt from the homie S. Dresden. Trading up to get Bowers would be worth the cost, in my opinion. Put him in the field with Chase and Burrow. That's a considerable problem for any team with suspect backers or DBs. Can't argue with you. Big facts. Can't argue. I look. I don't want to give up that third to move up. If I gave up a fourth or a fifth to move up a spot or two, I'd be all right with it. But giving up that third could hurt though, because we also have the thirty-first ranked rush defense, and so you get pretty good defensive tackles uh, in the third round. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I would if they did do that, I probably wouldn't complain. I'd order the jersey, let's put it that way. <laughs> so big By the way. Mm -hmm. Some Steeler news, man. Let's send them into the Steeler talk, man. Mm -hmm. So uh the Steelers signed tight end McCole Mc, Mc, something or other. He went Arthur Smith's dudes. Yep, veteran. Yeah, a veteran played for him for the Tennessee and for the Falcons. Do you expect him to make the team? Say, say, I'm, I'm thinking the Steelers gonna keep four tight ends this year. What do you think? Man, it depends on the depth at the other positions and how top heavy they are at the other positions. I would think it makes sense because he loves 12. But bro, I th this this I mean, I like Cam Hayward. So I'm like, is this telling? Is this a signal that Hayward's going to play more H back, or, or is, you know, or is this a signal that Hayward is out of there? Cam I hope Hayward? Ain't, no, the, the Cam. baby. No, no, I said Hayward. Did I say Cam? Yeah. I didn't mean to say Cam, but I, it's the baby brother Hayward. Yeah. So, so I'm Michigan State Hayward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's that that worries me a little bit, man, because I I, I want him to keep four. But Tay, you know we need we got to fill that fifty three, and it's got to be right. So, well, man, you know, here's what I think. I think uh, I think they keep four, mm -hmm. but I don't know if anything changes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the dude they just signed makes it. I think they like the four. They just all be active this year with the with bringing bringing Rodney Williams up. Mm -hmm. So Friar move Washington. Rodney Williams and Hayward. I don't think Hayward going. I think they like Hayward. Yeah. H-back. H-back. I mean, he, he probably get some reps at H-back. He'd still be listed as a tight end, but 
I don't think they get rid of him for this dude just like 33 that it was a practice squad player past few years, most places. Mm-hmm. You know, he's just somebody to try and come in and try and show the offense to the other guys. And, you know, he's a Smith guy, so I get it. Yeah. You know, but so they signed him. I meant to look, I was supposed to be looking up his name, then I got distracted from our communication in here. Someone said no. through it. Okay. Mikhail, well, my, I, I butcher his name, but his last name is Pruitt. Mikhail. Played for Tennessee. Huh? Yep. Yep. It, his last name is Pruitt. Phil, like Tennessee. Who who told us? Um, somebody in the live chat. I seen it over there, bro. I know. I want to give him credit for telling us. I don't see it. Um, it was Michael. It was Michael Martin that said Pruitt. Michael Martin. Thanks, man. We appreciate. You. Keep keep these homies right, man. Mm-hmm. No, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. But uh, I knew they signed somebody. But the Steelers, they got their jersey numbers, man. Mm-hmm. Is that a big deal to you at all, or do you care? No, nah, it, it, it really doesn't matter to me. The only thing, I guess, if I'm tripping about at all is that we got somebody got to get that number one. I thought, I thought Justin was going to get it. But, I mean, I understand that they want to keep it sacred for Anderson. I get that. But it's so so I'm hearing that George Pickens say he want to switch from 14 to one. Yeah, so, he, he 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 has put that out there. Yeah, so so if 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 one if if George Pickens can get one, but it's time for the Steelers to get that one number one jersey up, bro. It's time for him to give it up. You know, yeah, I think why, think why does he not give it up? Our kicker. Well, yeah, you can't you can't retire kickers' numbers. I find that hard. That should to be believe. against. That should be against league rules. I find right. that hard to believe. That's the speculation. They haven't retired Terry Bradshaw's number officially. I think facts. the only retired are Franco Harris and uh, Mean Joe Green. That's facts. That's that is facts. Big facts. Matter of fact, that's big facts. There's only so, two numbers that's retired. Well, I think it is much like you have at if they still do that at Tim School Notre Dame in Penn State. Not about the name on the back of the jersey. So, you know, nobody is the one on the Steelers. So I think I think that's why they don't give it out. Because truth of the matter is quarterback Anthony Wright had it in the in the early 2000s. Remember Anthony facts. Wright? Yeah, big facts. He had it in the yeah. early 2000s and he hasn't been used since him. So Gary Anderson wasn't the last one to have it. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I that's just my thought. I think it's 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 about it's about showing the players on the team that that no one one literally one is bigger mm-hmm. than the team right yeah so but I I let Pickens get it though that is that is weird r- weird rules in major league sports that I don't understand mm-hmm. I'll put it right up there with the New York Yankees banning facial hair what like that somehow makes your team uh a, a better team. Well, more disciplined why, team. Like, get out of here. Why it's, does you're dealing with adults? Why does Penn State do it in college? And the, and the NFL just went to zero. Matter of fact, Marcus Mariota about to wear the number zero for the Washington Commanders. Now Michigan does that. They throw. only give number one on 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 offense to their best wide receiver. That's mm-hmm. a that's like an earned number. That 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 has to. Have been since Anthony Carter. Correct. He had to start that thing. A hundred percent. Okay. It's, a, it's the same difference Edwards. with number two. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, the same difference with number two at Ohio State. You got to earn two. You just can't. You got to earn the number two. They just don't give you that. You got to. You got to earn it. So, well, the 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 the, the, the block O oh, the zero is for somebody that just started a couple years ago. The captain. One of the captains, you get the block O. But number number two is the honor number for Ohio State. Number two, if you get number two, you got to earn two. There's earn a two. there's a blast from the past, B Dirt and a yep. Chicago Bear. Yep. Val Four says David Terrell. Roman Wilson had it last year. Val Four seems pretty informed on the team up north. What's going uh, on, Barry? I don't know. I like it. <laughs> What's going on, Val? What's going on now? Come on. This Michigan St- fan. Steeler slash Buckeye podcast. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't be biased. It's Steelers. 
I'm just biased. I'm Here just biased. I admit, I admit, I admit, I'm biased. I admit, I'm biased. Michigan oh, alum, yeah. Much respect, then from the from up in Ann Arbor. Okay, mm -hmm. she's up up in your neck of the woods, B, or you was up in her neck of the woods. Uh, I was place. for a while, yeah. Yeah, I miss it. So let me let, let me just run through the jersey numbers real quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, Justin Fields is gonna wear two. We know Russell Wilson is gonna wear three. Yep. Allen's gonna wear four. Our new punter Cameron Johnson is gonna wear five. Go Bucks. Patrick Queen's gonna wear six. You say go Beautiful. Bucks for Justin Fields. Yeah. Uh, Van Jefferson is gonna wear eleven. Mm -hmm. Quez Watkins is gonna wear sixteen. Mm -hmm. Deshaun Elliott is gonna be twenty-five. Yep. Montez Dante Jackson is gonna be twenty-six. Yep. Cordell is going to be 84, and AB been making a fuss about that on the social media. Like, it don't matter. Gonna, get him out. He's going to get his number. Yeah, you blew it, AB. You blew it. And uh, Lowry, the real the real Mike Lowry is number 94, but his name's not Mike. His name is Dean. Yeah, but we all, we, all, we all know who the real Mike Lowry is, though, right? Mm -hmm. Mike Lowry. Mike Come Lowry. on, BJ. BJ always Lowry. know, man. Mm -hmm. Who is it, Big G? Bad boys. Don't know. Thank yep. you, Jim. He don't know. He look at. He says, "Yep." I'm no, Mike know. Lowry. I'm Mike Lowry. <laughs> Which one is that? Will or or Martin Lawrence? That, that's well, what Martin Lawrence well, was important. Was well, he he was impersonating Mike Lowry? Yeah. Yeah, and, and the, the new one coming out, I think this summer, man. You know, the the cuz Pearson, he just got back from Miami film, and they just they got trailers up and stuff already, so. Mm -hmm. It'll be coming to a theater near you soon. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. So, Big G. Yeah. The Steelers draft. And let's get these top 30. Let, 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 let me tell you who's, who's been in the building so far, right? Yep. So, and I, I'm only going to name the potential first rounds. They got some guys here that are not first round. We only got to talk about them on here. Mm-hmm. Except the one quarterback who might go to the second. That's Michael Penix. Amarius Mims is visited. Mm -hmm. Your boy, your boy Brandon Fisk. Yep, Florida State. Roman Wilson, Ricky Parasol, Xavier Leggett. That those are all receivers. Who I named all them. But each yep. one probably in the second round, though. Yep. Um, the kid from Missouri, the edge, Robinson, Wayne, Darius Robinson. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he's not a first round. Neither is Mason Smith, but we need that potential D line upgrade depth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nate Wiggins, Malachi Corley. You got your boy from USC wide receiver Taj Washington. Mm -hmm. the, the late, late, fourth round, fifth round, late. Um, Luke McCaffrey, fifth or sixth. Late CMC's brother. Mm -hmm. Do we call Luke LMC if he comes to the Steelers? Nope. No. Nope. Got to earn it. <laughs> got to earn it first. He got the name. He earned it because he was born to it. Nah, not got to earn it. Uh, and the 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 tackle from Oregon State to Lisi Fuaga. Yep. Those are the major players that have been in for visits. So. Yep. What? Do you think the Steelers are trying to do, Big G? Is it because I was sold on offensive of line? Yeah. And then something happened, and a lot of, lot of news. I mean, it could be Omar just playing games with his man. But a lot, lot of stuff coming out that it could be corner. Could be. And you sent me some stuff talking about they could potentially trade up for Rome with Odunze. Talk, Big G. What's going on? So out of the guys that's done come in, there's really only three that I think that even have potential for us to pack in the first round. That's Wiggins, the cornerback out of Clemson, um, the kid out of Oregon State, the tackle, and or Mims, the tackle out of Georgia. But, and I said this on the, the Homies podcast on Wednesday, Omar Khan and them are sending smoke signals, bro, because, yeah, they're bringing in for those top 30 visits or priority visits, but that doesn't have anything to do with what they're putting teams and scouts on the road to go out and visit with different schools and different players. 
Uh, Shannon asked a great question on Wednesday, and Tate, you followed it up with him talking about, is there a such thing as a sleeper? I don't think it's about sleepers anymore. I think it's about running distraction. You don't really want people to know who you're really after or who you really want. And so I think that the Steelers are going to be aggressive, either moving up or going back. I think that that it would make sense if you can if you can grab two picks or one pick in between your 20th pick and 75 by dropping back six or seven spots, you do it. But at the same time, if the Steelers feel that from the early free agent signing period and with this draft and what they plan on doing after the free agent signing period, because you got to remember, if, if you don't pick certain guys or you don't pick up certain players, you get extra draft picks in the draft. So I think that the Steelers are, are, are one way or the other going to be ultra aggressive. It just depends on when it starts. If you if you trade back and you pick up extra picks in between 20 and your next pick, then, okay, now you've got chips to play with so you can grab a guy that you really want. Or is there a guy that you feel that there's one guy that you feel that can put you over the top? I'm not so far going to the belief that the Steelers don't think that there's one of them wide receivers that, that can help them. I'm not so far going because, yeah, they're going to run 12 personnel, but take like I've already told you, 12 personnel is somewhat run, but 12 personnel is heavy play action. So when you run heavy play action, you got to have wide receivers that can beat the guy at the line of scrimmage. And it ain't just about going deep. It's about the crossing routes, middle routes, comeback routes. So if there are wide receiver that's there, Man, they might be aggressive and go up. And I, I'm not – listen, I ain't so far going to believe it, that they won't do it. Because there is there is some depth at corner. There is some depth at tackle. The wide receiver's depth too. But, man, there, there's certain guys that's in this draft that are special. So, so I listen, we don't – can't nobody say for sure, for sure, they know what Khan's going to do. But if I had to put my money on it, he's going to be aggressive either going forwards or going backwards. That's just that's just me take. That's what I'm thinking. See, I'm with the homie. That's Dresden, man. I'd rather mm -hmm. just try and get Leggett in the second round. What 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 would it take to move up to get a doomsday? You got to move up to what to to ten at minimum, and I, and that's if the Bears don't take him. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to go in the top ten. But if that's that's the thing, do they do it? Do they? Nobody, no Steeler fan, nobody. If People cannot say, even if you got inside sources and links, because we all got little stuff like that that we know and we hear and people are connected to people, but nobody can really say what the con man is doing. And I, I believe wholeheartedly it's a lot of smoke screens, bro. There's guys that that I, I believe that their draft board is going to be set, and I'm going to keep saying it, like the Detroit Lions. They don't care what other people think. People thought Detroit was off. When they got Gibbs in the first round at 12, when they got the tight end Laporta, when they got Jack Campbell, they was like, they don't need none of the positions. How'd that work out for you, Detroit Lions Nation? So so I think that the Steelers is, is going to take that same blueprint. We don't care what you got, who, wh what you think is this or that and this. We're going to get dudes that we know is going to come in and make a huge impact on our roster. Because I think the Steelers think that they're close. Heck, Tate, we went 10-7 and last year with a trash quarterback. Well, we, you know, we don't reset the roster in a lot of ways. We're going to get adequate to great to good quarterback play. You get another piece, man. Hey, look, ain't no telling what can jump off. I don't I don't disagree with anything you're saying, man. But I ask what it's going to take to move up. And is it worth getting a receiver and not getting – I mean, you're going to lose the 20th pick, obviously, you're moving up. Yeah. And you're probably going to lose the 51st pick if that's what you want to do. Yeah, but but that depends on if they feel that Van Prine or BB or or you know cuz because all those fans that think oh we got to get a center got to get a center. Let me tell y'all something. If we don't take Powers Johnson at 20, we going to have to trade up to get Zach Frazier. So if we go if we go tackle, we going to have to trade up in a second to get Zach Frazier cuz Zach Frazier going to be out of there. So he going to be out of there, bro. Do you trade up to get Zach Frazier? Or do you stand pat at 51 and just overdraft fan prime? That's that's the question. Which one of those guys you like? If, if you decide at 20, if you decide, okay, we're going to stay at 20 and we're going to take the best available tackle or whatever else, I, when we when we jump back at, in the 50s, dog, Zach Frazier going to be gone. 
So, so you know, we're going to have to do one way or the other. I like the ideology of trading back to pick up much more draft capital because the depth of this year's draft, I think there's 100 guys that would I would pick in the first or the second round of the draft. So, so I like more players. But, like I said, we don't know what Khan and Tomlin, we don't know what them dudes is really thinking. So, so you know, do, do they trade up or do we take Powers Johnson at 20 and say forget it and then move forward? So there's a lot of evaluations still to go so, in. You so know? you guys are at 20 right now. Mm -hmm. Tate, I've got the chart in front of me. Where are you thinking about moving up to? I'm not thinking about moving up. Okay. Big G is. I yeah. thought that was the question you asked him. Yeah. No, where well, do you think well, you well, have well, to move well, to get him, you want? Ask him what would it take to move up. So I, I think you got to move up to, to at least eight or nine. Okay, so let's go. If you go to nine. That's the, that's the, that's the Jimmy Johnson chart you got? Yeah, yep. yeah. So it's uh, if you go from twenty to nine, you got to move four hundred points. So yep. you got to you guys trade your second. Yep. Which is how many points? Three hundred and eighty. Yep, that's it. Come on, that's you got more than that? Maybe, maybe, maybe three eighty. Some teams it's might. It depends. Four fifty. Why, why would I take short? You want to come up? You got at least give me four fifty. I might try and squeeze you for a little more. No, it's four hundred it. even. It's four hundred. Yeah, we're, oh. we're talking about the con man. Three eighty to four hundred. It's from eight fifty to third. No, it's five hundred. I'm sorry. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I was looking at yeah. ten. You got to squeeze something else. But, yeah. but, be dirt. They listen. There's another that tackle from Oregon and, and Oregon State. <laughs> they might trade up to get him if he drops past twelve. Oh, Pittsburgh might man. They might be saying, "Man, we're going to go get him." That's 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 the only player I see him. I see him uh, moving up for, and the homie homie Ron Blake, man. He talking right. about the, he talking about the dude. Uh, Eric, Eric you McCoy. could probably get to sixteen or maybe fifteen with your third round pick from from twenty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if the tackle from Oregon State, if he go, if he drop, we might be ultra aggressive to go like get him. him. Yeah, go get him and go get him. Yeah, that, that's that. That's the only player that I uh, see them potentially trading up for, or they just mm -hmm. sit at at twenty. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody like like Ola School, whatever the cat's name is from Penn State, dropped in that same range. Oh, that guy's gonna go early. Yeah, I say top twelve with him, but you know, that's just me. But 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 fellas, we know this. One thing we can all say for sure, there's going to be ridiculous runs happen in this draft. We know that like somebody's going to take a WR off the board and it's going to just daisy chain. Yeah. And then we know that somebody's going to take a tackle and they're going to be like, oh God, we can't wait. And it's going to start daisy chain, especially once they get that top four picks worked out with can the quarterback. You, can you clarify what a daisy chain is for me? That one one pick is linked to another pick is linked to another pick, and you're doing it based not based on the fact of the, how your board is set. You're doing it because you have a position of need that you need a player to fill that spot. I understand all that. Where's Daisy come from? It's it's a um, it's, it's a, a string of daisies threaded together by their stems. Mm -hmm. You just you just Google that, be dirt. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's a, yeah. a, elect, a, a people are electricians and stuff use that technology. Yep. Okay, yep. it, it, they're literally showing it on electricity as well. Mm. Yeah, because definitely we're going to see as soon as as soon as we'll say the Bears or or even the Cardinals start drafting the wide receivers or whoever drafts that first wide receiver, we're going to see two or three more wide receivers coming off the board. And then back one, to back then, to yeah, and then and then once that defensive tackle or that offensive tackle or offensive uh, guard or center comes in, we're going to start seeing a little bit of that too. The yeah. first, the first four picks is quarterbacks. Maybe, uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know, allegedly, yeah, it, it's it's possibly could go that way. How I see it playing out, first allegedly, allegedly, because allegedly. somebody, somebody right. going straight up with the Cardinals. The, the Big G already told us Marvin Harrison Jr. is going number one overall. He should have. I, I, I heard, they, I heard it when, in my ears. When Justin's going, yeah, can't do it now. I did hear the Jets was going to try and trade up from ten to five to get him. Yep. But I got four quarterbacks going, and then Tim's right. But when the uh, when the receivers start to go, only three are going to go right away. The first three, yeah, facts. Yeah. Harrison, Neighbors, and Odunze. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we you got. I think 
You I got JJ fifty two is related to Michael Penix. Say it again. Uh, JJ fifty two has made his third comment so far today about Penix about uh, about the Steelers picking up Penix about uh, something. It's just a lot of uh, court, court, a court. lot of uh, a lot of Michael Penix Jr. Quarterback is not happening for the Steelers in the early mm-hmm. rounds. Mm-hmm. They can see what they got with Russ and Justin Fields. I yeah. also think Penix is going to be a bust. I'll throw that I don't think Penix is going to be a bust. I think Penix is going to go first round too, just not one, two, three, four. He going he going to fall back to where the Raiders is at at thirteen. He Bo Nix is the bust. I just think he's going to be a bust. Bo Nix is the bust. Ah, you know, well, I, if it, I if think. I've learned anything about about fifty percent of them are going to be bust. So we're, yeah. we're probably both right. He has a relationship with Antonio Pierce from both their times at Arizona State playing and coaching under Herm Edwards. So I think the Raiders really won him. Mm. I think Who's they that? got out in. Penix. What's that? Penix was the Arizona State. He was at Indiana. No. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about Jaden Daniels going to, to Raiders <laughs> trade up for Jaden Daniels. But because they need a quarterback, you're right. I think Penix could go to the Raiders too. I do I do have him going to the Raiders if they don't make a move for Jaden Daniels. Mm. But yeah, so and the whole the whole NFL then ran fell in love with JJ McCarthy. Love so him. that that thing that, that 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 turned hot quick, huh? Mm-hmm. Love. He might go two. He might go two. What's the possibility he could go one? Never. No. Never. I don't no, know. Everybody's not. everybody's hyped up about Caleb Williams. I just I don't know. His, his highest his Heisman year. Yeah. Yeah. It was impressive, but Last year, eh, you know, I don't know. I'm just not like. Hey, Caleb Williams going to be all right because they built the infrastructure around him. Facts. Yeah, he got receivers. He got some good linemen now. He got De- DeAndre Swift coming and playing running back. He got the tight end, Cole Komet. Now, not to mention with pick number nine, they could be taking one of the receivers we talking about. Ooh, they wrong. They have set him up with stuff that Justin Fields was never set up with. Right. Right. Absolutely. But Big G, you got any other any other Steeler news you want to share before we all get ready to give our part and shots and get on over here to overtime? Tim, you coming to overtime? Hey, I'm here if you need me, bud. We're not we're not we we're not paying you overtime pay though. It's okay. I don't get paid at all, anyways. I do this because I love you guys and I'm here for you guys. <laughs> no, no, no pun intended with the overtime pay. No overtime. Hey, pay. Tate. Don't tell yes, him sir. we don't tell him we get paid, man. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Just send me some merch. Just send me some merch and I'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> hey, so so take the last thing I just want to say about the Steelers, man, is that I I really do believe that you're gonna see a dead period or a quiet period out of the Steelers from now until the draft. I don't see I was shocked that they signed that tight end. I was shocked that they did it. But I do think after the draft. You're going to see Omar Khan get aggressive again. So there's guys hanging out there. There was guys that we thought we was going to going to see. Maybe that Simmons kid, the, the Giants signed back. Maybe Beckton. Beckton signed with a team. So there's still guys out there. Is there a Simmons signed back with the Giants? Signed back with the Giants. Signed today. Back with the Giants. Man, Man. who did Beckton sign with? Oh, he signed his contract today. I saw it. It came across my timeline. I got to look it up. When y'all can, when y'all look it up? But he did sign today, though. Who was it? Be- uh, Beckton, the, t- the tackle from the Jets. He signed with somebody today. Beckton signed today. Isaiah Simmons signed back with the Giants. So, but so like I said, I don't see the Steelers getting adding any more pieces. It, I would be shocked if they added a piece in the next twenty days. You know, concerning a position of need, especially a position of need. But I do think after the draft, like literally after the draft, Omar is going to get ultra aggressive again. We're, they're not. They're not waiting, man. They're not going to wait because the team in our division that actually does well with signing free agents after the draft is the Baltimore Ravens. They are. They are probably the best in the NFL of signing pieces right after the draft. So I think that Khan is looking over, seeing what's going on with them Ratbirds, and like, bro, look, we're not waiting this year. We're going if we identify a guy or two that we really want after we get our draft picks, he gonna go get them, bro. So, and one of those guys could be Tyler Boyd. It still could be Tyler Boyd. 
You know, I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, Tim, I'm telling you, uh, B Dirt, it could be Tyler Boyd. I don't think, you know, I think the reason why you guys have not signed Boyd yet is because he he wants to he wants more money than what you're willing to offer. And I I still believe he ends up with the 49ers. After the money, after the draft, the money keeps going down. You're right. Yeah. You know, of course, we're going to see it. You know, like I said before, I think I said it on the know on the know it all's uh podcast the other week well you know i said you know we're gonna see a lot of the free agency kind of slow down right now and we're not gonna see nothing until after the draft mm-hmm. you know shout out, I, shout out for the fam t take real quick and hey homies do you guys do a mock draft i think we plan on doing a mock draft what's today today is the fifth maybe the week before the 19th i got to talk with pay and be dirt me and big g then kind of talked about it we got to get with we pay dirt and see what what, what I they. I thought do. we were doing the whole uh, the, the a big one on the know it alls. Well, we still can do that, but we still got to be here Friday night. Mm-hmm. How about it? <laughs> huh? I'll be in Lima that Friday. Okay, you can go sit. You come through here with Me Big Town Bombers. Yeah, and we can sit here sit and do it in the basement. Visit visiting Mama for her birthday. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's not her hundredth though. Nah. Not nah, cuz yeah. concept concept Justin Simmons is off the board. No, you're talking about Justin Simmons for the Giants. He's off the Isaiah board. Simmons. Isaiah Simmons. Oh, Isaiah Simmons. Is guy Beckton still hasn't signed from what I yeah, saw. Yeah, he hasn't signed. I saw that too. I thought I saw he signed. Yeah, he did. I'm I'm I might yeah. be wrong. I, I think and the thing is is with Makai Beckton, because he visited the Bengals. And there's a reason why he didn't re- he didn't sign with the Bengals, and there's a reason why he didn't re-sign with the Jets. Mm-hmm. Either wants too much uh, money, or he's just not a fit. I agree with Claude. That's a good comment, Claude. The Steelers offer boy two years ten, and he wants three twenty six. Yeah, but the cost after teams feel they need, bro, you gonna have to. So he gonna have to decide on what he wants to do. If, I'm just being honest. I if, don't. If I, don't I'm a, I don't want Tyler Boyd anymore. I just draft a receiver. Yeah. And, and Claude can go to the Matrix for this one. Dang, Claude. You know, and I agree with you. You know, Tate, I agree with you. Why why sign Boyd when you just draft a wide receiver? <laughs> you don't have to, you know. You, that's, that, that's where I'm at. I think he wants too much money Yep. for his past production. He's a good receiver. Don't get it twisted. But the whole thing, he's trying to hold Pittsburgh's feet to the fire because he's from Pittsburgh. And that whole narrative about the hometown kid coming home. You know, it's Con- not a hometown discount, though. That's for sure. Oh, man, not going for that. Why well, you think uh, the quad father back in the building? What's up, Dennis? Yeah, he, what he, he backed said? up. Kate. He said, "What's cracking?" Oh, okay. Yeah, what's yeah, up, yeah, Dennis? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, let's go ahead. Be dirty, Tim. Go ahead and take us out, man. But hey, if you're watching, you enjoyed the talk. We're gonna get real, real wide open with topics and things on overtime. You know, we kind of keep this Steeler centric. AFC North is the is the microcosm to the Steelers macro. Uh, but yeah, so come check out overtime right after this at at about 9 15 p.m. between 9 15 9 20. We'll be there. Be Tate, we only got 59 likes right now, too, bro. Come on. Oh, well, yeah. While, 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 while everybody giving their exit interview, be sure to hit them likes, man. We have 59 right now. Let's try and get to 80 before we get out of here. Ain't Tim. nothing but two seconds. Tim, be dirt. Take it away. Well, I'm going to take the opportunity since uh, Pay's not here and you don't have no graphics to run. Lock up Diddy. <laughs> Deuces. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Go ahead, Tim. Arrest Brett Favre. That's, how you, that's all you got to say? That's all I got to say. Okay. Yeah, thanks again for rocking with us on the Homies Podcast on Fridays on Fans First Sports Network, Steel Curtain Network. Swing on over to Overtime on Fans First Sports Network in about 10 minutes, like Tate Boy said, Fred. Tate Boy Fred said. And make sure on Sunday you check out the Know It All's podcast. Y'all, we got a big announcement for y'all on Sunday. It ain't it, ain't it, Tate Boy Fresh? It's a real big announcement. Like, may, might be our biggest announcement ever. It won't affect anything as far as the viewers, but. Mm-hmm. We got a big announcement. We'll tell y'all on Sunday. So check us out. Make sure you walk, rock, rock with us on That's Rather Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers podcast. Yeah, the diddler. 
The no deal doubt. Is pay is pay. What party? What party is pay really at, man? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he just mm-hmm. needed a day off. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Maybe. Maybe he flew down to the where? Where, where, where did Puff go to? Everywhere. Uh, I don't know. He was worldwide. He's somewhere in the street. In the street. He in the street. He in the street. He in the streets. That's all that matter. He in the streets. I'm saying. I'm trying to wonder if did pay take or catch a flight. Yep. In the streets. But no, I just want to thank everybody for rocking with us on Friday night on the the the, the homies, the original homies. Uh, you know, the overtime is 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 a is a spinoff from the homies where we get to just you know have have a have a little more fun because we're not as we're not as constricted in what we're able yeah, we to get a little farther off the rails. That's what we do. <laughs> That's exactly what it is, B Dirt. But yeah, man. So come check us out. Uh, it'll be up in about the next five, 10 minutes, and we'll we'll be ready to go by 9:20. I'm looking at my watch now, 909. We ready by 920. So until next week for the homies, for B Dirt. For Big G, for myself, for Tim, thanks for joining us. And you, I'm saying goodbye now, but I'm ready to say hello when y'all come join us on Overtime. So until next week, all the information you need, Steelers, Bengals, everything is on FFSN, Steel Curtain Network, and the uh, Fans First Sports Network website. Get get your, get your good articles. You guys just start writing articles and create a Bengals website for articles, man. You guys are good writers mm. with that, that bath education. I wrote one article, man. That, that shit is hard sometimes, man. Mm. You know? for me. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I already know, man. I'm just talking. I'm just messing with you guys. So, man, until until we on the homies in a few minutes, we out. Peace. <laughs>